Shooting the shiznit, best little wrestling podcast in the business. Your host BT, and all his guests, you never know who he'll have next. Shooting the shiznit, shooting the shiznit, best little wrestling podcast in the business. Shooting the shiznit. For 304 Studios in Jonesboro, Arkansas. This is STS Pod dot Club Production, and this is episode <laughs> MF500. How the hell are you, Lance? I'm good. I'm right here in the Mountain Dew Studios in Chicago. Wait, there's more people. Mountain we got Day. some guests already. Uh, it looks like Jamie Ward. Welcome, Jamie. The- Can you hear us? And I have Mountain Daddy. I'm not sure who Mountain Daddy is, but. I'm Mountain Yes, Dew, I, I can hear I you. We can't All right, see Jamie. You. We can't see either one of you. Yeah, I'm on uh, the road. Oh, God, it's Richard. Richard won't tell me they don't have <laughs> internet in West Virginia, so. No, I said there's bad reception in the mountains. And you, oh, okay, uh, all right. Church Richard, lady give us- guilted me into calling. Good deal. I guilted you. I knew I would. This is episode 500. We got Jamie Ward, our longtime friend from Philadelphia. Jamie, how do you put up with everybody else in Philadelphia? That's my question. I just ignore them. It's that way. That easy. <laughs> and which are the which are the better cheesesteaks? Which place is it? John's Roast Pork, hands down. Okay. Next time I'm out there, I'm going to hold you to that. I'll, I'll Jamie, take you there. You, no problem. You've yeah. been a mailman for how? Look, this is gonna have nothing to do with wrestling. Mail handler. I thought it was. You've mail been a mail handler. handler. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, this that's is... you, not Jamie. Uh, Jamie's. Oh, I'm a mail handler. Yes, I am. I. I mean, only on the weekends. Yes, Friday, baby. <laughs> sorry, it's already went to the shit. So Jamie has been a mailman for what? Fifty years? Ah, uh, close. Thirty-seven. Oh man, you wow. are my hero, man. You are and my I'm hero. Always- and I'm only 55. I got a long way to go yet. Yep. Richard, yeah. we want to know why you keep having those stupid guests on there with you. That's what we want to know. <laughs> it's the 500th episode. You're letting um, your hair down. Yeah. It's the anti uh, no, I mean, society. I, I actually enjoyed this week's episode. Um, you can listen to it now uh, on our new podcast webpage. Uh, Podpage.com slash P3 Oh, good God. <laughs> so, yeah, you can listen to this week's episode. I think it's up right now. Let's do it. It is. There. I have it. listened to almost half of it. So, you get ready for that review. Guys, I just, I, both of you have been with us during uh, when you first got started with podcasts. We went back to doing podcasts and announced it at Cool Kids. Uh, me and Lance, actually, there was another guy, and it's a it's a funny story because I was trying to choose who would I be my co-host, and the other guy backed out, so I had to go with Lance. No, yeah, no. I was. I chose I was Lance. Sloppy seconds. Jamie, was... Jamie, you've been listening. You've been listening since we started in 2017. How how bad are we, really? Just tell us, <laughs> tell us how bad. We are. You guys are the fucking shits. <laughs> Wait, I've nah, heard people sure. say the shits is a good thing or a bad thing, so I'm not sure. That might be a compliment. All right, we'll make it a compliment tonight just for you, Lance. There we go. Thank you. Go ahead. I know Richard's been – he's been listening, and we he always gives me credit helping him with the podcast. But, Jamie, Richard don't know this, but tell, it, tell Richard the first time you met – these two handsome guys right here, Lance and BT. When did you meet? Hey, us? spoiler alert! Does it involve a rest stop? No. Oh no 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 no, no, no rest stop okay. involved in that one. Awesome awesome. Let's see. First time I met D- BT, what was the eighty six at the old uh, Joel Goodhart Memphis trip? 
That's right. Memphis, Tennessee. And it, the thing about it was, is we did trips. They come all the way from Philly. Richard, you wouldn't even know about this, but they brought a busload of people from Philadelphia actually in a pl on a plane. The whole busload was on the plane. But uh, they did the trip. They did the Memphis trip where you go to Memphis and Evansville and everything. Uh, and I rode with them. And I met Jamie and a bunch of bunch of crazy guys from Philadelphia there. It was – how many times did we do that? Two or three times? Yeah, I think I did it four times total. You, But that and, one time was just you going, like, with Dennis and just a few of us there, right? Right, exactly. The, the one time was – the first time I met Lance at the uh, 88 UAWF convention. Yeah, that was the, the John Gallagher put together show that when we went to the Memphis, what was it? I don't even know what the stadium was called. Mid South Mid Coliseum. Coliseum. You don't even Mid know what the Mid South Coliseum is. Yeah. God okay. damn, you're out of here. You're out <laughs> so here. we went there. Look, I just removed Lance. Lance's not part of the show anymore. If anyone wants to be my co host, he did not know what the Mid South Coliseum was. So. Yeah, you know that old building that used to hold wrestling in Memphis? For they have flea markets there. Wait, how did I get below BT? This is oh, you're below, <laughs> you're you below me now, top. baby. No, you Woo! cannot be on top. Pretty sure that's how you got the job, right? <laughs> so we got, he doesn't, usually he likes it the other way around, but what do I know? It's Friday night. That's so, right. No, that's but right. I met, yeah, I met Jamie and man, Meltzer was there. Who else was there? McAdam, Robinson, BT, um, Zinger, and uh, uh, Scatton from Canada. So, yeah, there was some great times on that trip. That was legendary. Yeah, that was the first one. Then the second one in Chicago. We did Chicago. Yeah, you guys all came here. And then wasn't there one? There was Tampa and there was Philly also. We did a right, few did you, things. Did you go to the Tampa one? Yeah, I was in Tampa. Okay. It was for the WCW pay-per-view. Right, uh, the super, super Brawl. Yeah, that was Flair and... Fujinami. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was it. Yep. So when uh, the giant outlaw was taking a dump in the bathroom and we all heard it, and there was some great, <laughs> great times at that show too. And then we did Philly too. I remember we were at right. a WCW. I don't remember if it was a house show or a pay-per-view, but we were there for I, that too. I think it was a house show of two house shows. One was in February. And then the other one was the uh, great American bash in 89. Yeah. Uh, the night, what the night uh, Cornette blew his knee out. Yep. At ringside yep. right before the uh, Great American Bash pay-per-view the next day. It was – those were some great trips, man. I wish we could all, like, figure out something and all do something central again one of these days and get oh, to absolutely. a pay-per-view, AEW show or something. They have yeah. something. It's called Bears in the Bahamas or something. I don't really know what that <laughs> is, but it really sounds like a lot of fun. We could – all us guys could get together and do that. I'm not That's, sure. Uh, I'm a little concerned. Richard, so. Richard, you're Richard's a young one. He is really young compared to us, Jamie. And uh, we, me and Richard met. He was a wrestler at the time. So, uh, Richard, what's your fondest memory of the podcast? <laughs> Look, I'm putting on the spot. You got to think of one. You got to come up with one. Uh, oh my God! There's West Virginia right there. Yeah, you can't hear him. He's in the West Virginia can you boot hear hill. Me now? Is it the boot hill? Yeah, we can Hello? hear you. Yeah, boot hill, West Virginia. Yeah, we okay. hear you, man. Uh, actually, I'm, I am in Missouri, right, uh, not Missouri, Kentucky right now. And you were talking about bathrooms a minute ago at a Love's truck stop somewhere <laughs> here in uh, K Kentucky. I was using the bathroom, and for shoot, this guy just ripped one so loud next to me, it startled me. <laughs> Like it scared the bejesus out of me. I've never sure? had that happen before. Was it Josh? No, no, no. Hey, Josh isn't with me, but yeah, I was. Uh, I was Josh in the bathroom. Favorite. I was in the bathroom, <laughs> and usually, you know, when you go into a stall, you try to be quiet and try to let them go. This dude sounded like he was trying to blow a tuba, uh, <laughs> and, and it scared the hell out of me. But no, uh, my favorite memory. Uh, would have to probably be um, the. Are we counting the shooting the Shiznit's uh, best Shiznit or ever awards? Oh yeah, yeah, we're we're going with everything. Five hundred yeah. episodes, motherfuckers, five hundred. Being on those, being um, we've had a chance to come on here, having you guys on our show to talk about it, but yeah, right. being on those were some of my favorite memories of last. I, that was a year ago now. Jeez. 
Who yeah. did? Uh, hey, Richard, he... we gotta let you go. We we you can oh. only have so many people on at, at the same time. And it's Josh Richard. is here. It's so, Richard's uh, better half. Richard's we got to let you go, that. man. Josh I'm is sorry. here. So gotta, you may not gotta, we got to let you go. <laughs> you may not send it to uh, He beat me calling in. Oh, he did. He I just removed him. I didn't have to remove him, but I did. So his uh, He was driving in, in Kentucky. He just pulled out of a rest stop in Kentucky, he said. Jamie, you're in the room with three mm. – well, no, two Southern guys, and, and you know he's Midwestern or whatever you want to say. But you got two Southern guys. That Jamie loves hearing our accent all the time. Oh, absolutely. I mean, at least I know Lance isn't having squirrel for dinner tonight. Josh, oh, tell him we will eat squirrel. Tell him you ate squirrel yesterday. So, dude, I ate <laughs> raccoon yesterday. Squirrel is uh, beautiful. Saturdays. Wait, is that code, or you really ate raccoon? <laughs> Like, that sounds like a euphemism. No, getting trim is code. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, oh he came back, y'all. He came back. <laughs> Richard's back. Richard, can yeah. you hear us? Can you hear I us? Can hear. I don't I know what happened. It, bad connection in West Yeah, but it, Josh, bad Josh connection. is on here, and Josh is looking good today. Josh, you're looking we, good, man. We I have a you. curse. We have a curse on P3 Radio where. Uh, every time we interview somebody, they talk about these damn mountains, and I'm telling you, they're they're wreaking havoc on my cell phone signal as well. I didn't think Kentucky was as mountains. I didn't either. I think you're lying. <laughs> we don't we don't think you're in Kentucky. So there you go. He's still Let's see. I'm gonna try to pull up my camera. Um, don't drive don't off the road. The camera. Be, be careful. Don't drive off the road or anything. Oh, 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 his his wife <laughs> He's gone. Living. Jamie's muted. Everything's his going to hell in a handbasket here. This will be a hell of an episode. Josh, I'll be, we're, I'll we're, be right back to you guys in a second. All right, all right. We're asking, we're asking, um, we're asking the memories of shooting a shiznit since this is episode 500. What's your memories of shooting a shiznit? He's thinking. Well, um, I'm going to tell you something. I really, really liked the Cookie St. James episode, just for all the truths that he dropped on everybody, you know, like that is one of the more entertaining, you know, just from all the shit that he went through and prison oh, there we go. And, and being on the indie scene and all that. I mean, it's, it was just a, from start to finish, it was all a good show. Not that every show that you do is not good, but that Cookie St. James really hit home with me, you know. Yeah, well, you know, we know you've been in jail also. We don't really want to hear about it, but we do know that, you know. No. Hey, we got Jamie. We got a picture of Jamie and Richard now. Look at everybody. Yeah, I had Jamie to switch looked, rooms there. I Jamie gotta, is, are you the secret identity of uh, Captain America? What's going on there? Absolutely. I'm, I'm the next one. Can you and can you imagine if somebody's watching Captain this America. and this is the first time they've ever watched shoot this is it and they go and we got machine gun Carl Anderson driving yeah. on the bottom there. Carl Anderson behind the wheel. He really is on the highway. There we can see it. <laughs> Look at that expensive it's Carl Anderson. Panel. It's gonna tell a dick joke. The dick joke coming up. Yeah, go, yeah. go ahead, Richard. Tell us a dick joke. We'll figure it out. I uh, I am trying to keep it as edgy but PG because there's little ears in the car with me. Oh, <laughs> you got little ears in the car. Yeah. Who did you kill? Jesus Christ! Kidnapped. Kidnapped. Oh. I've got my. Hey, I got my wife, hey, wife. Family back here. So, I love, yeah. Hey, just tell your wife I love it when she's on the show. Yeah, I was going to say I like Josh, but I love when the wife is on the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she. Uh, we have to watch what she says though. Sometimes she's gonna get us canceled. She needs to. <laughs> she needs to take Gobi's place. Yeah, there we go. Permanent co-host. Well, I don't think. I don't think he's like a co-host. He just like pops in for every now and then. He's just like but, mildew that you can't get rid of. <laughs> well, I mean, we've said many times before. You guys have an open invite. You just gotta let us know when you can record on our schedule. We'd have to, yeah, I have to get in. I'm going to bring Lance to the south one day, and we're going to we're gonna, uh, go coon hunting and get some squirrel 
And <laughs> raccoon also. And raccoon Jay, too. Jamie thinks Jamie thinks we're a kid and about eating squirrel, y'all. He really does. Josh, Josh, tell him what your 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 dad talked about the birds. Wait, your daughter's in the what? car. Be careful. What are you talking about? The birds that people used to eat in our area. Oh, no, they, don't get they me canceled. Don't get birds. me canceled. Wait, wait, don't get me canceled. <laughs> move, move. No, the, they, would, they would make, back in the day when my dad was young, they would make blackbird pie because that's all that they could find. Everybody then killed all the squirrels around the neighborhood. They'd already killed that's the That's a shoot story. <laughs> that's true. Don't you, what my is dad told me, he said, back when I was young, he said, back when I was young, what a fucking squirrel won in black English. And like he was for real, so they blackbirds. There, you're confirming all of Jamie's suspicions about the South. And don't you have that story <laughs> where they killed they killed a hog up in the trunk or something? Didn't they do that? What was? No, that? it was a it was a cow. Uh, they uh, slaughtered it in the uh, front yard at my house, which you know it, it was before I was born. But my mom was a teenager, and she said she was getting off the bus, and they were tying it up to a tree and she said she was so embarrassed she had to go inside but uh yeah there's a lot of instances like that where you just walk in on your family going if this ain't the most redneck shit i've ever seen uh, yeah, lance we, this we, is why i don't drive I to through the south. Spring, uh, right that's why you don't drive through the south oh come on you know we would you know, we would uh, we would agree to my dad, know, take uh, advantage of that open dad, invitation but you take so many uses... vacations richard that's the problem <laughs> you're always out of town you can't record on a schedule oh lord look who we got here man look there's six people lance oh, with uh -oh. six Wait, people hold here on. Hold on, oh, no, six on. people are here. I gotta Ooh. put a mask on. Eric's on. I'm putting so. a mask on. Does he have a mic? <laughs> Does Eric have? Do you have a microphone, Eric? Hello, can you hear me? Oh, we can hear you now. There we are. Now we there's can. Eric, guys. He's at County Street for Bluegrass Parkway toward Bardstown, Lexington. <laughs> <laughs> Redneck Parkway. Boy, this is Damn good you. stuff, boy. Hey, Listen. Eric, tell us what you think about Josh and Richard off of P3 Radio. Look, he don't know they're in here. So, no, no, Eric, I'm just messing with you. Eric, so what's your fondest memories of shooting a shiznit? Uh, it's got to be the Skimahorn shows. The, all the Skimahorn shows, yes. All 50 of them. There you are. There was only three. There was only three. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> It felt uh, like fifty. Any any time you uh, got one over on Lance, pretty much is my favorite uh, moment. I'd say. Oh Lord, that, that's, that's every every day then. Yeah, so. that's pretty pretty frequent. What was the uh, what was the outtake of Lance that you uh, kept playing? <laughs> that was a pretty when he movie. was oh, yeah was... when he was talking to that girl. I felt real oh, uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh yeah, he Taco said something Bell. about about her being a fatty. <laughs> yeah, not yeah, fatty. yeah, you're gonna be a fatty. Yeah, that was not, that. No, and and then that. she quit the business like a week later. Yep, yeah, yep, that's true. Yep. That did happen. Oh. That happened, but it wasn't because of me. I'm not taking responsibility for that. Jamie, you, you, know, Eric, 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 you know Jamie. Right? There's Eric. Hey, there's Eric. Richard. Hey, there's man. Josh. He says Dyke. Are are you really? Do that's we just a, a D Y K eight three. All right. I'm sorry. I said that Facebook. No. I might get canceled. I might get canceled or banned because that's what Lance said. Some things that got him banned. So yeah, all the time, just using that one word. But anyway, I'll tell you, BT. How about I tell you some of my fondest memories? All right, and tell us get the show memories. get the show off on course a little bit. So the interviews, some of my favorite interviews. Uh, I know Eric was a fan of the Christy Jane's interview. What blew me away about her is she's from Brazil and she speaks better English than we do, all of us. Uh, I love the space monkey one because he tried staying in character the whole time and it was really rough. What else? Bill Apter. That was a fun one when we did Bill Apter together. That was great. Chris Wolf because she we was We did moving. Bill Apter together. Good God. We did do Bill Apter together. When Chris Wolf was moving during while we were interviewing her, <laughs> she was literally moving like yeah, her residence. Yeah. Mercedes, Mercedes Martinez. That was a great one. Two parts because she couldn't stop talking. So as far as like the 
the cool kids countdowns the parody the parody episodes are always my favorite to do like the 40s wrestlers was great the worst match of all time that one came back to me too when we were talking about the worst matches of all time just to piss people off on april fool's day so those are some of my favorites and now doing the record store i love doing that too so Mine thank you was, for the it was the, by the way it was the 1930s and if you guys haven't listened to that episode it's episode 65 and lance he made a bow for 10 wrestlers that didn't really exist and then i didn't write anything absolutely nothing it was all ad lib as soon as he would tell me the bow i just started talking and uh it was one of the it's one of my favorite episodes of all time i like the april 1st episodes that we do uh yeah, they're always, always fun. fun um i think us starting music also i think that was a big deal for us we uh, kind of threw it up against the wall and said we're gonna do a music podcast if it works to work you don't it don't uh and it's got really good downloads one of my favorite episodes is having ricky morton though one of my yeah. favorite tag team wrestlers of all time doing a cool kids countdown with me um and dustin dustin star actually you know giving some faith in me and doing rolling into menfo i'm a kayfabe guy and i'm on memphis wrestling that's you know that's unreal that's one is of those that things. the mid-south coliseum is it there see i'm gonna i'm gonna kick him out again josh he didn't even know where they had memphis wrestling at he didn't even know where they had memphis wrestling i came up with it i came up with it just didn't come off the tip of my tongue bless you in front of mine the it place is. has been didn't the place get demolished isn't it gone no it's still, it's still there. there it's a flea market it's a flea market now no all right he's going i'm leaving he's knocking him out again here's one of the, my favorite things ever on the show and i'm fixing to show it to everybody if you're not watching the video you're missing out <laughs> mr mellon we are uh, actually in lawsuit with Mr. Mellon right now. Uh, we because lost Josh. I think Josh passed out. Too much. My God, what happened? He got scared from Josh Mr. Josh is Mellon. gone. Richard got frozen in West Virginia. No, I'm here. There we Rich, go. Richard, can Something you Something dumped see everybody me? off of the screen. I did. Yeah. Because I showed everybody about Mr. Mellon. That was one of my favorite things. Uh and you know i mean really me and lance we were friends but this whole thing is i mean we talk to each other all the time he's one of my best friends uh and i know that sounds kind of sappy but it's just one of those things we we were friends but when you work together and it's kind of a it's not really a job it's a hobby but when you talk about everything and do everything uh and then lance become a huge part of if you listen to what the fuck or any of the cool kids countdowns that don't have the skimmer horns on it uh then you you're listening to lance's material i mean he writes almost every bit of it he says the, everything and then i just comment so uh it works out it, yeah it works out for us big it time out. it really does and uh, it's lance, lance, I used, like a, uh, lance is like a boy scout and by that i don't mean <laughs> that he's been molested by the troop leader i mean he's uh no, always hold prepared. on we got a he Boy Scout prepared. troop leader in our midst, so let's be I'm careful I'm not a troop here. leader, but my son is an Eagle Scout. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I'm always Oops. prepared. I'm always prepared. All right, y'all. I need, need, need to get rid of Like her. a Boy yeah. Scout, always prepared. Uh, oh. and, uh, let me let me also say that one of my favorite moment episodes was a very recent episode, and, and Brian did a great job pulling it together. The Bobby Eaton tribute, he combined a whole bunch of audio that he had to edit together, and we got to hear from Bobby Eaton himself, and it was it was really well done. Thanks, man. That, that and the Lance Russell episodes are the yeah. only two tribute episodes that we've done. I hate – I'm not going to say hate, but I, it's just not something I like doing uh but you know i knew bobby so there was a difference i didn't know lance and i've said this before lance felt like a i, I missed a day of work when lance russell died I, i'm serious it was like he was my grandpa or something i guess because you know from 1978 till they went off tv or he went off tv i seen him every saturday you know lance russell was uh somebody i i spent the saturday afternoon or saturday morning with so it, it was really that was the only i think that's the only wrestling death that's ever you know just bothered me you know and it did i mean bothered me for a couple of days bobby bothered me 
but Bobby was one of those guys that you know he he was always happy. So it it didn't, you know. I, I hate to say that I don't want to seem like morbid or anything, but Bobby was smiling when he died, guys. He that is a happy guy. He was always happy, and always, uh, you know. My wife said, uh, you know, he was a kind soul. She had met him two times, so she mm-hmm. she just knew, and he he went out of his way to say hi to everybody. That that knew that they knew him, kind of thing. But yeah, also awesome guy. All right, Richard's back. So Richard, we talked about that one time that you had uh, anal problems, and uh, mm-hmm. one, one time, <clears throat> Richard. Wait. Oh, I know what we got to tell ask people right now, Lance. We got to ask this. We have six people in the room, and we know three of them is not lying. Three of us have shit our pants before, so. You Lance says he's never shit his pants, no, and I think right. Eric even said that he's a liar. Has- <laughs> <laughs> no, because I have class and I have. Uh, he th- he thinks it has something to do with class. It has yes. to do with your bowel movement. It has nothing to do with class. Right. And with Lance, you would think, given all the fast food he likes to eat, I know. Try it out, you would think he'd be. Yeah, yeah I'd be the king of it. For sure, but all right, no, Jamie. I, you Don't. can generally can generally make it home in time. Have you ever? And you know, we talked about you being a, a postman for fifty two years. Have you ever shit your pants? Wow. Is what we want to know. No, I haven't, but it's come real close a few times. Uh, I don't believe it, y'all. So, I don't believe it. So I think it ain't have, just a, it ain't just a subtle thing. It can't be. It, it, I can't. think so because this you, is the last week that have not. Lance, it's all those extra animals that they eat. I think that's what it is. The quail <laughs> and the squirrel. The uncivilized stuff. The blackbirds and the pie. Well, you gotta think. You gotta think too, when you deep fry all that stuff, the grease is no good. <laughs> it just helps lubricate those poor animals. <laughs> Josh, I'm with you. I think the three guys in here are just liars. They don't want to come yeah. up with you and say they, they, they shit. Oh, they're liars for sure. For sure. <laughs> you I did it at a Colin Ray concert. Chipotle. <laughs> He's proud of it. Rings, think about it is Richard's that, proud. That Lance eats. Yeah, I know. Never You'd be surprised. It's one of the, when I'm 90, maybe it'll happen when I'm 90. Richard's guys, so proud of shitting his pants at a concert. At Colin Ray. Yeah. Colin Ray. Ever, I, it's, I, it's got, I went to Colin Ray and all I got was shitting my pants or something. Is that a <laughs> I think that was also a song. All they got was my night. underwear. <laughs> that was yeah, a, I, I don't think it's a country song. It does. There's a technique to that. If you, and, and the sad thing so is, shitting your right. pants. If you technique? shit your pants, yeah, you got to get wait, rid wait of the Wait a minute. There's a technique to it. Yeah, you got to get rid of the underwear. Hold on. Let me take notes. <laughs> let me get it. Yeah, All you right. got to throw you got to throw the underwear in the trash. Okay. And try, and, and well, try hold up. To, well, time, are we going to be able to you watch to, this back? I'm yeah, yeah. Maybe because I got to save this uh, for a future reference. <laughs> yeah. When you, I'm 90, I'm you have to. Notes. BT, you have to throw it away if your hobo uh, washroom of a bathroom sink does not do the job. It, and the hand dryer doesn't work as a dryer in time enough for you to get uh, to if you get there arena? before I do. Yeah, in that, in that full rink arena. arena. <laughs> People still say hobo? I told what my, is a hobo? For real. I told my daughter that story. He don't, listen to this man. He what don't even know what a hobo is. is that, Lance has never ate a deviled egg. What the that fuck? Was a, a well, that skull, would be why he's never crapped his pants. Skull, well, that might be the reason why. <laughs> I've had deviled eggs. I don't know where you got that from. I've had deviled you eggs. You told me that. Like he lied again, y'all. No, he lied I don't again. like them, but I, I've had them. I'm old. I'm old. Hey, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you. Me and Lance is going to wrap it up with a few things, talking about the Patreon. I want to thank uh, Josh for joining, Eric, Richard. Yeah, I guess, Richard. Jamie, thank you. Our old-time friend, Jamie Ward. I appreciate all y'all joining us. This will actually be up on In Cool Kids uh, later, and it's on my personal website if you want to watch a train wreck. Uh, I appreciate y'all listening and being part of it. All of y'all have been on my show. And uh, Eric's helped us do some review. Josh and Richard both have been uh, – we did Dynamite until I fired them and hired Eric. 
Uh, and then uh, Jamie's been on the show before and plans to be again a couple, uh, probably a couple weeks from now. So uh, thank you, guys. Have a good night. Enjoy your good weekend. You I think uh, all right. Thanks for having me. Good seeing good see you guys. Take care, guys. All right, guys, we're wrapping it up here. We didn't want to leave. Uh, it's pre-Smackdown, so uh, in I would order Taco Bell. So there you go. That's the reason why we're going to – I want to really Don't quickly – Don't shit your uh, pants, Taco Bell. Do I not shit will. your pants. Be careful. All right. Let me thank uh, Patreon. I want to thank the Patreon members and all their names real quick. Sandy, Chris, uh, Chris W., John – fuck John. Uh, we got Eric, uh, D-R-O – uh, D R O. I thought it was uh, Stacy. Stacy, look, look at the, everybody else is still here. Look, I don't know if they're they're still here. Uh, Margaret, Michael, Ed. Michael does a t-shirt a month, so he he's a big baller there. Yeah. Uh, Tom and Chris, Chris, courtesy, courtesy of Chris. Uh, we do appreciate you guys. You know, I like that Michael guy. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you why, but I like him a lot. I, I know, I know why. Yeah. Uh, know. Michael's awesome. We do. I don't appreciate get in it, trouble Michael. again. He's getting two or three t-shirts. I think I still owe him two t-shirts. He gets one every month. Uh, then we got uh, what else? Well, I want to thank my mama. She's a big supporter of the podcast. I always say I love my mama at the end, but she listens to everything that Lance does. She listens to everything we do together and listens to all my podcasts. So, hey, Mama, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, Glenda. Uh, thank you for listening and being so loyal. All right, guys. Same bad time, same bad channel. On the best little wrestling podcast. By the way, did you know this, Lance? The best little wrestling podcast in the business yeah. was something I did one time, and Jamie messaged me and said, that should be your catchphrase for the podcast. And then it went from there. That's it. And love my mama. And I just, no, I made no. up, I made up, I have fun everywhere I go. And I stuck with that just because it's Sounds true. Creepy. It's true. It does Be not there. Creepy. And as everyone knows, I love my mama. And I already said mine. So I'll refer, I'll reference uh, Eric Kroll's catchphrase. He is old King Kroll, <laughs> the spoiler king. That is him. So since he was on this episode, he likes to spoil things for me like you do. 